Hey everyone, this is Rose and I welcome you to my random channel. This is going to be a three months worth of empties products. I've used that video and here are all mine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, empties products I've used at videos are strange because I'm showing you my trash from the last three months. But I really do appreciate videos like these because we can initially use a product, like it, and then end up hating it. And then also vice versa can happen. The first thing I have, uh, I featured these in a Just Fab haul in May of 2016. And again, these shoes only cost me $2. But I'm definitely going to have to retire these. Uh, the bottoms, I don't know if you can see. There's a hole right there. And then the, the fake leather is peeled off. And then the little hole designs, uh, some of the holes have gotten bigger. So, yeah. These shoes, I don't even know if this is something that can be repaired where I can donate them. But... No, I think these are just gonna go in the trash. First thing is something I've had for a while. This is the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Protection uh, Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I will admit that I wasn't a huge fan of, of the sprayer though because the lock would often lock itself. Like this little switchy thing locks it for you. But I thought this worked really well. I would definitely repurchase this, but I will admit I'm interested in probably something that might be a little more potent. I have no clue where the bottle is to this, but this is the Ordinary Advanced Retinoid 2%. Uh, this was a very affordable uh, retinol treatment that lasted me for a fairly long time. Worked really well at improving like the texture of my skin. It helped heal acne. Uh, we definitely would purchase this. I will admit that I'm trying like an Amazon equivalent of this right now currently. But this is a really good product. The Ordinary, they make really great skincare and some makeup products for very affordable prices. This was a full packet sample of the Miss Jessie Super Slip Sudsy Shampoo. I will admit that I'm not really a huge fan of the full packets because Honestly, I can't tell you whether or not I liked this shampoo or not, and I feel like I can't really judge it from one use, so. These were the Clearacel Ultra Salicylic Acid 1.9% Acne Medication 5-in-1 Pads. These are basically like the old school acne stringent pads. Salicylic Acid does not work as well on my skin as benzoyl peroxide. I'm really oily really acne prone with huge pores and a lot of texture and so i went through these a while ago actually and and i've had these for a while and i did not repurchase these because i've used better things in the past this was something that i got from an old birch box this is the beauty protector protecting to tangle leaving conditioner this was something that I actually I did like. It smelled really good. Kind of had like a vanilla musky perfume smell. And I remember it not being a bad leave-in conditioner. This was something that I believe I just fe featured in like my last favorites video. This is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. This is basically like one of those freaky looking black peel-off masks. It's really good for like acne and exfoliating the skin. Even though I've heard these type of things are bad for your skin, I still really like this. I felt like whenever I use this mask, and if I had like active breakouts, it would actually shrink down the zits and the pimples. So it was borderline painful to peel off, but still I enjoyed it. This is like the drugstore equivalent of Bioderma. This is the L'Oreal New Micellar Cleansing Water for Normal to Oily Skin. I actually got sent this from another product review company by the name of Biz Agent, which I've not yet done a video about, but I don't think they want videos about them specifically, just about the products. I use this, does not work as well as the Bioderma. I'm gonna be upfront. 
and this actually is it says that it's safe for the eye area dermatologist tested ophthalmologist tested but then it says avoid getting in the eyes i can remember when i got this in my eyes it actually burned a little bit but still i had to use multiple like cotton pads to get all my eye makeup off with when with bioderma i would get that crap all in my eyes and would not have to use as much and it removed my makeup so much faster so I would not repurchase this. Just finished uh, the Revlon Colorstay Combination Oily Makeup. Uh, my color is 350 Rich Tan. I have a really old review on this foundation, uh, one of, which I can put up in the cards. One of my Holy Grail foundations. Is it this way or? I feel like it's this way. Yeah, one of my Holy Grail foundations. Decent coverage, full coverage, great at mattifying the skin, very long wearing, would definitely repurchase this. And it's from the drugstore. And it has a pump. This I finally went through. I got this from Beautylish. This is the RCMA, the original no, no color powder. This thing was three ounces and I feel like it lasted me for almost two years. Uh, this was great for baking. Now I didn't really do anything for oil control, nothing like that. This is just good for setting makeup, and that's really it. Still, such a good value, it's very cheap, and it lasts you a long time. Finally finished this Naked, uh, Urban Decay Naked Flush Face Palette. This basically had a blush, highlighter, and bronzer in it. it took me a couple years, but I actually finally finished this thing. I will admit, I dropped and I shattered it, so some of it was lost, but still, it lasted me for a while. This is the Schwarzkopf Essence Ultime uh, Diamond Color Radiance Conditioner. It's probably really disgusting looking. Wasn't a bad conditioner. I don't really remember anything that phenomenal about it. These were Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleansing Cloths. They weren't bad, but they honestly weren't anything memorable. I still like the Simple and the Neutrogena. Uh, face cloths better. This was just a random conditioner sample. The Thane Aromatherapy Conditioner. I think I got this when I stayed at the Marriott in Atlanta. This is a full packet of the Essilor Soothing Refiner Cleanser. And there's something amazing to report. I actually feel like when I used this cleanser, I made this last me for like two or three days. My skin actually looked decent after washing my face. Like it didn't look flushed or anything. Pretty impressive for being a full packet. All right, this was actually a not bad leave-in conditioner. The Garnier Fructis with Active Fruit Protein Curl Nourish Buttercream Leave-In Treatment. This smelled really good. Did a great job of detangling my hair. And I actually do feel like it deep conditioned it. This is for Define. Frizz resistant curls, three day moisture. These are some random diamond wipes, cleansing and makeup remover towelettes. I've gotten these in the different holiday in like franchise hotels I've stayed in. And these, like this pack only has one. These are actually really good makeup wipes. I kind of help, can't help but wonder well, it has the information on the back, diamondwipes.com, and one 800 number, www.wipes123.com. I might consider looking into these. This was the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. I cut my tubes open. Uh, this is actually not a bad cleanser for being 4 or $5. A little goes a long way. Lathers up really well. These were a couple full packets by IGK. Hot Girls Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. Can't really recall anything miraculous about this. Now, this is a very expensive hair care line. Number four, Lumiere de Hiver Reconstructing Mask. This is, I guess, a French company. Uh, I believe when I used this mask, it did leave my hair feeling very deep conditioned and soft. Well. But will I ever afford to really purchase anything? Probably not. This is another one of the Than 
aromatherapy conditioners from a, a Hilton hotel that I stayed at previously. This is the shampoo that went with the Schwarzkopf uh, Diamond Color Radiance. Again, can't really remember anything that memorable about the shampoo. This is actually the foundation that I've been wearing for the past couple of days. And I have to say, even though it, it is the wrong color, I don't know if you noticed, my face is so much more paler than the rest of my body. I don't think I like the formula because I feel like it actually emphasizes my pores and texture. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Lightweight Liquid Mousse Foundation with All Day Shine Control and 200 Soft Beige. I will say it does a decent job in terms of shine control and like my blush and stuff lasting all day, but I don't really like, I am extremely oily, how broken up it can get after so long. And yeah, I would zoom in on my face right now, but I'm not going to. This is the shampoo that went with the Thane Aromatherapy Shampoo again. This is like the Hilton brand of uh, beauty products that you get when you stay in the rooms. This is the Stay in Eyes Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub, a classic product. Um, I know people have things to say about how abrasive facial scrubs are, but I like them. They do the job, they exfoliate, and I thought this worked really well. I will admit, not as well as the high-end one I'm using now. That will probably feature in my next favorites video. But still, for an affordable option, this works really good. I went to New York City last September. If you're, you're a subscriber of mine, you would know the story that my hard drive crashed last Christmas. And I've yet to send it off. Because it's going to cost me like 400 bucks to hopefully retrieve my files. But anyway, while I was in New York City, I vlogged everything. We actually did go to the St. Ives, uh like scrub bar where you can mix your own formulas. Really cool place. This is that really expensive hair care company, number four high performance hair care, the Clarifying Shampoo. And this actually worked really well, a little went a long way, and it actually it deeply clarified my hair. This is a cleanser I actually am not a huge fan of, and it's by one of my favorite companies, Sunday Riley. This is Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser. It's really liquidy, really milky, and when I use it, I don't feel like it's really doing anything. Just being completely honest. I have used other high-end cleansers and even low-end cleansers that have agreed with my skin a lot better than this has. Huh. This is the body lotion to that Hilton Beauty Line, uh, Than. 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 Uh, Aromatic Wood Body Lotion. I think it actually worked pretty good. This was the Colgate Optic White Platinum High Impact White. Four shades, visibly wider. Actually thought this toothpaste wasn't too bad. And I believe I did see a difference with my teeth because they're naturally just very yellow when I was using this. All right, this is the ordinary bottle. Uh, I showed the box earlier and this is how the the bottle looks. This was a really good body lotion. The Josie Mare Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. Might be too rich for my cheap self, but it works really well if your body skin is extremely dry and it smells really good. This is Dr. Jart's The UV Sun Fluid Broad Spectrum, Spectrum SPF 30. This was a really great sunscreen, did not create any type of flashback, and layered really well underneath my makeup. This was the John Frieda Frizzies Daily Nourishment Moisturizing Conditioner, a drugstore conditioner, worked fine, wasn't anything that phenomenal though. This is a great high-end concealer, the Lancome uh, Ephesurms, it's a waterproof uh, concealer for the eye area. I use this all over my face, works really well, and it is indeed waterproof. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and I wore the color uh, Buff Beige Neutral 4. Never did a review on this because to be honest, I really did not like this foundation. It made my oily skin more oily. Yes, it matched my skin really well and, and provided more medium coverage, but I actually ended up not really liking it. This is the top to the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. Orbe is a really great hair care line. 
I just think it's too expensive for me. And this was obviously like a sample that I got like in a birch box or something. This is a not bad moisturizer. The First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This stuff smelled really good. It smelled like American Smarty Candies. I don't really think this primed my skin, but it wasn't a bad moisturizer for my oily skin and it did not make it more greasy. This is a sample of the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. I have a really bad review of this on my channel that I can link in the cards. This is actually not a bad mascara. It lengthens, defines, and volumizes. If you're oily or if you have long eyelashes, it does smudge like a mofo on the other eye area. This was the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil. I have no idea why I haven't repurchased this already because this worked really well on my acne. Highly recommend tea tree oil if you're oily skinned and if you have breakouts. This was a sample of the Longcomb Monsoor Big Mascara. Not a bad mascara, but I feel like you can't put too much of this on because it did cause my lashes to kind of clump together and this was a mother to get off. This is like a fragrance sample of the Marc Jacobs Daisy. Thought this actually smelled pretty good. This is just a dried up julep nail polish that I can't use anymore. This was the color Harper. I think I got this in my December 2012 julep maiden box. So this thing was old. A sample of the Cartier Beze Voile. Full packet of the L'Oreal Ever, Ever Pure Sulfate Free Moisture Conditioner. Don't really remember anything that memorable about this conditioner. This is a sample of the Toca Julieta perfume. This is a sample of the Tory Burge Bel Azur. Didn't really like this either. This was the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lipton Makeup in 70 Early Tan. Never did a review on this because honestly, I did not really like it. And I feel like it's really only good for mature skin. It's more on the dry side because this did make me more oily. This is the Acure Facial Cleansing Gel. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Acure is like a natural line, skincare line. And I thought this wasn't a bad cleansing gel. Uh, can someone please tell me if this is pronounced Devines or Davines? But this is the Love Shampoo. It's a smoothing shampoo and it was a pretty nice sample size. And I actually really do like this shampoo conditioner because it leaves your hair smelling so good and it feels so soft. Now this is an old school recommendation that I've, I've taken from Casey Holmes. This is the Canon Austin Primer Protect Mattifying Primer. This is a really good primer if you're oily, if you have big pores or a lot of texture. And I know this has a high SPF in it, an SPF 50. It is really expensive, but I highly recommend it. This is a really old julep sea salt spray. The, the writing's completely rubbed off, but I recall it working really well. Not sure if julep still sells it, but if they do, I highly recommend it. This is the body wash to that Hilton uh, beauty line, the Thane Fan. Uh, this is actually a really good body wash. A little goes a long way with this stuff. This was the Schwarzkopf Gliss Hair Repair Ultra Moisture Conditioner. Can honestly say I don't really remember anything that memorable about this stuff either. This is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I remember this being a um, not so bad face cleanser. It foamed. I tend to like foaming cleansers, so I would use this again. This is a product that I'm definitely going to repurchase. This is a teeny tiny sample of the Benefit Professional. So far, I think I've used two samples now. I think this works great on my oily, huge poured, that's word, textured skin. I will be repurchasing the full size of this. This is the IT Cosmetics, uh, the Universal Brow Power Brow Pencil. Not a, bra not a bad brow pencil, it is definitely universal, it's like a taupe color. And depending on the pressure you apply, the darker it gets. It works really well. I think this is another one of the Jurgens Natural Glow 
uh, body moisturizer. It's basically like a gradual self tanner slash body moisturizer. Uh, I don't really recall seeing a difference in my skin color wise or moisture level wise. Uh, I'm extremely dry from the neck down. So I remember when I used this, I did have to reapply it throughout the day. So will not be repurchasing this. This is a fragrance sample of the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. Kind of like a powdery sweet scent. Makes me think of gardenia. I have no clue if that's in it. Not really my style. This is a full packet sample of the 100% Pure Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream. This was a full packet that actually lasted me a really long time because a little goes a long way with this and I actually do have the full size of this. This was a full packet sample of the Garnier Whole Blends Illuminating Conditioner. It has Moroccan Argon and Camellia Oils. I don't really remember how this worked on my hair, but I do recall that this stuff smells really good. This is the Ciro Bigelow Body Lotion for all skin types. This was actually the skincare line that was in the New York Hotel that me and my friend stayed in. See how big it's been a while for a while. I think it's sold in like Bath and Body Works. This was an okay body lotion. This is the CVS brand, uh, Just the Basics Moisturizing Shade Cream. Lasted me a long time. Just like an everyday shaving cream. Uh, this is actually my Artisy In eyeliner that I'm actually not going to completely empty out, even though it's really short. Really great. Uh, it's not smudge proof, but it's a really black eyeliner. Just realized today that my pencil sharpener is broken and so this is not to its end so i'm going to set this aside but this is a fragrance sample of the versace bright crystal not really my scent i like musky borderline masculine scents uh this is the indigo i uh, no, nest fine fragrances the indigo scent now actually i did really like this this is the replica lazy sunday morning the scent is typically not my style, but I did enjoy how it basically did smell like what I think a lazy Sunday morning would smell and it provided a clean, crisp smell that I actually enjoyed. And then another, this is actually men's cologne. I do sometimes wear men's colognes because I just prefer how they smell on me. This is a sample of the Rockerware Evolution. I have no clue if this is still around. I don't really don't think it is because I've had the sample forever, but I do like the way this smells. And then this was a deluxe sample of the Way Hair Care Rose Hair and Body Oil. I actually really like this. Now this is an amazing peel that I really enjoy. This is the Real Chemistry Luminous 3 Minute Peel. I got this in my birch box. This stuff is crazy because you put it on your face, leave it on, and then you start rubbing your face and you can see all the dead skin begin to peel away. I really enjoyed this. I think I have maybe one more sample of this. I would actually consider purchasing the full size. Another fragrance sample of the Angel Muse. Really not a huge fan of the, of the Terry Muggler scents. In fact, they sometimes trigger my allergies. I did wear this anyway because I had the sample. Kind of on the strong side. This is the YSL Black Opium. I actually do like the way that that one smells. This is the Fido Paris Rich Smoothing Oil. This is basically a spray oil. I did not enjoy how oily it was. It actually did make my hair feel borderline greasy, which is kind of hard to achieve because my hair is extremely dry. If this had a slightly thicker consistency where I wouldn't accidentally put too much in my hair, I might have liked this better. To this home stretch, this was a Sephora sample I got at the Sunday Riley CE. No, I know. It's the UFO, UFO oil. It's for oily and acne prone skin. I enjoyed it when I use it and I would actually consider buying the full size. The fragrance sample of the Marc Jacobs Decadence. I actually like the way it smelled. This is the John Freya Frida Brilliant Brunette Visibly Brighter Subtle Lightning Shampoo. Of course, notice no difference with my dark brown hair, but this wasn't a bad shampoo. And then the last two empties I have is the Pantene Pro V Dream Care Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually really enjoy the shampoo and conditioners. A little goes a long way and the smell of these, the smell is so heavenly and it leaves your hair smelling and feeling so good. All right, 
right, well this is it. For my three months worth of empties, I'm gonna really hate myself when I do the description box below, because in case you don't know, if I can find links for everything that I've mentioned, I will put them down in the description box in case you're interested in trying them. But anyway, this is it. Again, this is Rose, and thank you so much for watching this crap. If you found this at all helpful or entertaining, please don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if I'm a part of my random family. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And until next time, I hope you all have a great day and you will see me again hopefully very soon.